Hello again. Hope everybody's okay. Today's I may be a little over my head. This subject. It's the uh, raw file, raw image file. What's a raw image file? He says. Now raw image file is one that is has not been processed. Now the JPEGs that we're all familiar with are processed in the camp in just a few seconds. They're processed, they're compressed, and in a few seconds you have your photo. In most cases quite satisfactory. The raw file takes away that problem, if you want to put it that way, of the camera doing all the work for you and making decisions for you. In the raw file, you, you make all the decisions. This is your photograph from beginning to end. So that means uh, you're going to have to, you and I, <laughs> to work on a raw file. I have to deal with color temperature, tone curve, my colors, contrast, sharpness, saturation, digital exposure, etc. 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 But the end result is that you have a picture, a photo, which you handle from beginning to end. Something like the old days with the film cameras where you took your picture and then you took the film into your kitchen dark room and processed the image and you have your little larger and you decide what size and so on and so on. So you can take pride to a certain degree in a in a raw image because it's all your work. And it is better than uh, your JPEG in most respects. At least up to that point. Now the complications begin. Because since your raw image is, a, is a uncompressed, it's a huge file. And when you go to save it, you find out that you can't save it as a raw image. You have to save it as a TIFF or as a JPEG. Now, TIFF files are also uh, largely uncompressed and they're huge files. So, you wind up taking, uh, making your image into a JPEG. And you pretty much started, pretty much winding up where you started from. But, uh, the new JPEG, this JPEG RAW, you might say, is definitely an improved picture. Some may dispute that. Some may say that it's all the same, that the raw image doesn't do anything for you. But I would say that a raw image is somewhat better than the quick image that we take in with JPEGs. But it's a large image. There's a lot of work involved. So who can use a raw image? Probably uh, a studio photographer who wants perfection, or maybe a landscape photographer who goes around with his tripod and uh, makes these gorgeous pictures that we all see on our calendars. <laughs> but I would use a raw image if I had an important one or two important pictures, not a whole row. Imagine taking a whole, if I take a whole row, I, I don't think you want to f take 50 pictures of, uh, raw in a raw format, you, you never finish. So, I would uh, use the raw concept in one or two pictures that I, I thought were special pictures. Now you say, where, where do you get raw images from? Where, where's that all about? And 
you'll find most of the time you'll find them in uh, single lens reflex cameras. Also in uh, high end uh, one shoots like uh, Canon G9 and Canon G10. So that's about it. Hasta mañana.